but there's some people who believe the almanac is is right. I think they believe they're right. Well, clearly, uh, that's the issue I have with the farmers' almanac. It's not so much that they can't. I don't begrudge them issuing forecasts. My gosh, they've been issuing them since uh, uh, 200 years. They got a lot more experience than we have in terms of issuing seasonal forecasts. But Ian, what's really rubs me is the fact that they they score their own their own weather forecast, and so they say they're 80 to 85 percent right. I mean, I just don't figure. I mean, of course, they have. They might say, well, it's going to snow between Christmas and New Year's, somewhere between Chicago and Montreal. <laughs> well, they're probably going to be right there, you see. But, but you know, people sort of forget their forecasts. They remember our failures, but they never remember our successes. It's a, not a level playing field there. This is about the angriest I've ever seen you been before. <laughs> this is you angry. So, so what should we, uh, how, how should we kind of assess the Farmer's Almanac uh, forecast of a, of a severe winter ahead? Well, I love the farmers all make. Let, let me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah. want to get that clear. I love the ads and the and the jokes and the that got homespun wisdom that it has. But its forecasts are created a, a year and a half ago. I mean, my gosh, it's hard to get the forecast right tomorrow, let alone a, a season from now. So my sense is that hey, look at it. Is this going to be colder, br more brutal than last year? Or take what we say, that it'll be a, a kind of uh, more, more norm, warm in the West and, and normal rest of the The American forecasts are saying similar to ours, so they, there's some agreement with our models and theirs. So I put a few couple of loonies on the fact that Environment Canada's forecast rather than the Farmer's Almanac. But notice I said only a couple of loonies. 